Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for your consideration a 1999 Jaguar XK8 convertible. Comes dressed to a, comes to us dressed in a topaz metallic, which is just kind of a light silver, with a black top. Stunning looking car, and a lot better made than Jaguars used to be back in the day. You can see up front here that it's got a nice little contoured hood, kind of gives it that sporty feel. A typical round oval mouthed Jaguar grille area. And some really crystal clear front headlamps. All the badging on the car is in good condition. You'll see down here, it's got the open mouth grille, with the license plate at the center. Little fog lights tucked up under a recess there and these very, very clear headlamps. As we move around the side of the car, you'll notice it's wearing its chrome factory five spokes. Dressed in new Continental tires, or newer Continental tires. Nice Jaguar emblem in the center. And a running Jaguar, the end of a piece of body molding that runs all the way down to the rear tire. Body colored side mirrors. As you can see, as we head around back here, similar contoured styling at the rear of the car. Got the third brake light up on the top of the deck. Jaguar badging. Again, nice clear lights. It's only a car in the mid 50s as far as mileage goes. I think it's about 56,000 on this particular one. And it looks like it. It looks like a low mileage car. It's been well preserved. It's been obviously garage kept. You can see there it's power antenna. And in 24 years, that makes about 2,000 roughly miles a year this car has been driven, which is not very much. And it does look the part. Very clean, very sporty still. All right, let's get the hood open and see what's happening in there. Like all Jaguars, the hood lifts toward the front and exposes a very clean engine bay. Again, it looks like a car with only 50,000 or so miles on it. It's a four liter V8 engine. You can see there the radiator with dual electric fans. Everything's kind of concealed and covered here. Not a whole ton to look at, but it is all very, very clean. Very original, very stock. Let's hop inside and check out the interior features. You can see it's kind of a, a light beige color inside. They call it cashmere. Bucket seats, dressed in leather. You can see the burled walnut trim all over the place, typical of a Jaguar. On the driver's door, you've got power windows, power mirrors, and seat memory. Uh, so you can use the power seat and adjust it, and then have it memorize it, and it'll go to the predetermined position for you. You can see it is an electric seat. Bottom of the seat shows just a little bit of wear, not bad. But on the side bolster, it's the typical issues. Always tough on these, just like a Corvette. Side bolsters always get hit. Looking into the rear seat, they are small. Uh, maybe a toddler, a dog, something small might fit back there, but not a five and a half foot tall or bigger human being. You can see the rear window uh, it does have defrost and it is made of glass. A nice feature. <clears throat> All right, inside the car, exceptionally comfortable. What one would expect from a Jaguar? It's a luxury car and it feels like one. It smells like one. This gorgeous dash. Just breathtakingly pretty. 
center console. Again, best of the best. And a little bit of wear right there where your elbow goes for the driver on the center console. You'll see the passenger door has its own window control. Glove box contains nothing but an old registration. You can see they've got the nice leather stitching all around here, the burled walnut. The HVAC system, uh, it's one of the type that you can set it to a specific temperature and it will just accommodate and do what it needs to do. Or you can just crank the air on full blast if you want to do that too. Uh, air is nice and cold, heat's nice and hot. Down below is a really nice stereo system. Uh, it does have controls on the steering wheel as well. Uh, as you can see, it's an AM FM with a cassette, but there is a six disc CD changer in the trunk factory uh, that works along with the stereo. And as you can see, it does have phone compatibility as well. I haven't figured out how it works yet, but it does have it. Here's your switch for the roof. We'll operate that in a few minutes. With the transmission, it's a five speed overdrive automatic transmission. But you can, as you can see, move the shifter all the way around to two and then do the shift from two to three, three to four, and four to overdrive, which is the D at the bottom. Um, I haven't gone out on the road and played with it, but it looks like it'd be more fun to use the left side of it than the right side of it. You can see it has a sport mode button. These open up just simply by being pressed. There's an ashtray with a lighter. This one is cup holder. And underneath, a storage box. Steering wheel itself has a Jaguar head embossed on it. You can see it's leather wrapped. You can see there are controls there to use the phone. Hiding over there are the controls for the lights on that stock. On the other stock, you'll see there, that's for your intermittent wipers. Cruise control, also on the steering wheel. Up on the dash. Working gauges. Trip computer. Attack, speedometer. Gas gauge and temp. All right, let's go ahead and fire this Jaguar up and I'll show you how the top operates. And it's telling us the hood's open, it's paying attention. All right, now I'm assuming you had to pull the emergency brake to make the top work in this one, like in most cars you do. You'll see the emergency brake light just came on. I'm going to push down and, well, first I'm gonna lower my passenger side window. There we go. I'm gonna push and hold this button down and I'm gonna move the camera so you can watch it operate. First thing that'll happen is the side windows, rear quarter windows go down. You can see it lift up, then it'll unlock itself. Fold back very quickly. There is a boot cover that matches the same same <clears throat> color as the seats. Uh, it's in the trunk and it will cover up the top when you drive it as a convertible. I want to just step out of the car for a moment. I want you to see what it looks like with the top down. So it's a whole different look. The summertime fun variation here. And the boot cover will cover all of this up once you've put it on. All right, let's hop back in the car and I'll show you it goes back up just as easily as it goes down the button
there we have it. I'll roll my passenger window back up. All set. Perfect. And I'm a little bit off on the mileage. It's 57, 742 at the moment. Again, it's a roughly 50,000 mile car. It sure looks like it. This would make a great daily driver. It would make a great fun weekend car that you just use during good weather times. And it would appear from the mileage and the, the age of the car that that's what it's been used for so far. And it's been in a garage. It was probably taken out in good weather only, and it really looks well kept. Let's hop out. Give it a listen. It is a remarkably quiet car. It is not a muscle car. It doesn't sound aggressive. It does have rear dual exhaust with chrome tips, but as you can hear, it's relatively silent. Sleek, sophisticated, elegant. If you want to feel like you're pampered every day when you drive to work, this is a great car for you. It's a good deal for the money too. Feel free to give us a call. Ask us any questions you'd like about this 1999 Jaguar XK8. We're happy to help you with financing. We're happy to help you get transportation to have it delivered to wherever it is you reside. Again, we're Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. We're here to talk to you about this 99 Jaguar XK8. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.